one of the last times I was in a bookstore just after lockdown, I was struck by the amount of autobiographies of the celebrities and stars who were trying to give some theory on happiness, something about their life and how they've been happy throughout their life. Sometimes when you pick these books up and have a little flick through it, you maybe get drawn in and you, sing, you can see the happiness that they've experienced. And we all want a bit of happiness for ourselves. And if we go to bookshops or if we surf the net or even turn on the television, there are many people wanting to advise us, to give us some theory on what will make us happy. But how happy do these theories actually make us? How effective are they? The world offers us many pleasures, many different things, and it tells us they will bring us happiness. And this can be true for a short time. We all know ourselves through past experience that there are things that bring us happiness, but the happiness then wears off. It lasts only a short time. Fortunately for us, the church speaks out and it tells us about lasting happiness. It tells us about where our true happiness is to be found and that's the vision of God, heaven itself. Like many things in life, we can't achieve heaven by our own merits. We all need help and today we celebrate that help. We celebrate the feast day of all saints, all those men, women and children now in heaven. They are our inspiration, they are our encouragement, they are our role models, but most importantly, they are our friends. We all have our own favourite saint, one that we turn to when we need a little bit of help. I love to turn to Padre Pio. I think Padre Pio is fed up listening to me, but nonetheless, I always go back for more. And I know that when I pray to Padre Pio, that he is listening, that he is interceding for me with God, that he is answering my prayers. And perhaps you've experienced that yourselves with your favourite saint. And when we think of our favourite saints, we think of the wonderful life which they lived while on earth. We always say to people if they're saintly or not, we say, oh, he's a walking saint or she's a walking saint. And that's a good thing. We think of all those good, positive attributes to that person. But with many of the saints, it's not as straightforward. Because a lot of saints have a past. And for me personally, that gives me encouragement because we all don't live that saintly life like some people. We've all had some wrongs in our past. But many of the saints live a life of corruption and scandal, some persecuting the church, some persecuting the early Christians, some ridiculing the church. And yet, after a conversion, a moment an encounter with Christ, their full life changes. I know myself what that feels like. Maybe some people here will as well. When we allow Christ into our lives, when we feel the change in our heart and in our lives. And that's why I take great comfort from the saints. Because it's not just about all the good that they were doing while on earth, it's about the bad as well. Because Christ takes them for who they are and he transforms them into good. And that's what he does with us. And one of the things I find when I speak to people, when they tell me their story, is that they tend to think on all the negative things that they've been doing in their life. All their bad points, their bad habits, 
and they block out all the good. Even all their sins, people seem to hold on to them. I'm guilty of that myself. But when we go to confession, God releases us from our sins and it's we who hold on to them. We are the ones that are allowing those sins to be a barrier between us and God, between us and sainthood. Each and every one of us are called to be saints. We're all called to share in the glory of God with all our past life, with all our little quibbles and all our warts, everything as one. God created us. God calls us to be holy and to be saints. It's not an easy road, but we have these men and women in the church who lead by example, who show us the way. These saints we celebrate today are friends in heaven. So it's not an easy task, but always remember you are called to greatness. You are called to be saints.